Hey YouTube, um, so this is my second attempt at this first time I end up getting a call in the middle and uh, it cut off my video uh, when I tried to ignore it. So this time hopefully I don't get any calls and if I do I will just, uh, it's on silent now but I'll let it ring and try to ignore it. So um, I'm going to start trying to upload stuff to this channel. I've had this channel for a while now. Uh, it's my personal channel. It's actually where I pay for YouTube Red at. Uh, I'm a big YouTube consumer. Um, shout out to Philip DeFranco. Love him. Um, but I, I have some other channels for anyone who, who knows me is, is going to know this. That I, I use to produce content. Uh, most of them have some video aspect to them. But most of them aren't uh, per se video based. Uh, you know, I have a six-pack philosophy uh, show that I do with Mike and Anastasia where it's a podcast and it's main, you know, kind of form. We do videos from time to time, a lot of it Facebook-based, though we are, uh, and in order to get more content to our viewers and especially those who so graciously support us on Patreon, um, we're kind of shifting toward YouTube. Uh, I've talked about that a lot on our Patreon and... Uh, we'll be talking about it on the main podcast feed uh, in times to come real soon. So, I have the, that outlet. I also have my work with the uh, Libertarian Party of Texas that I do that, you know, gives me sort of an outlet. I had an old YouTube channel that's inactive now called uh, Talk Liberty 1776. You can go check out those videos if you want. There's uh, not really anything... Uh, still being produced there, but if you want to see some of my earlier work, it, hey, it may be fun. I like to watch it sometimes just to kind of see where I came from and, you know, hopefully give me some insights into where I'm going. Uh, but from all those uh, creative outlets, none of it has been exclusively me. Uh, you know, I've, I have a lot of, you know, aspects to myself, so I'm sure anyone else does. You know, obviously I'm into politics, philosophy. Uh, some people may or may not know uh, about my me being an engineer and my, my engineering work. Uh, I'm into science. I'm into a lot of things. And, you know, sometimes I'll want to put something out there as content and it won't fit really well into one of those boxes. Or maybe it does fit really well into, let's say, a, a political box. But I, I have some concern where while it may be political, it may not fit really well into the voice that I have from the Libertarian Party, and, and there's concern about it, it um, reflecting on them, maybe not poorly even, just reflecting on them inaccurately, maybe the right word, uh, or, or in a way that's not clear. So... I try to restrict and even sometimes have, you know, uh, other people that I work with that I'll bring something to that where it's not even me trying to restrict it, but they'll say, I don't really think it fits into this format. And I think they're right for doing it. I'm not, not trying to criticize them for that. I do the same thing uh, when tables are reversed. So uh, I, I think it's absolutely something that it's good that they're doing, but what, what it does leave is, is kind of a hole in my media outlets where I can't just put stuff out there about me. Um, so I, I've been thinking about making something that is just whatever I want it to be, and it, it's about me. Um, kind of egotistical, I guess, if you think about it. Um, but it, it, it's, you know, it, it's, it's like the modern journal, I guess. Uh, it's therapeutic. It helps me think through things, and it, it helps... Uh, it helps me engage with others on my ideas and, and be critical about them. It, it, it's a tool I use. So I've been thinking about that. I've been looking at different uh, mediums, uh, Twitter. Uh, I consume Twitter some uh, and respond some, but the, the problem I find for myself with Twitter is it is so incredibly short form that it, it doesn't lend itself well to nuanced conversations, which is... is really what I like to engage in. Um, so that kind of ruled that out. I, I thought about 
Facebook as a medium. The problem with that is it's it's almost overly engaging. Uh, it you put something out there and then it almost becomes an all day kind of event, responding to just everything and everyone. And there's an expectation there of responding. It, it there's an expectation of it almost being like a conversation in a room. And because there's that expectation, and on top of that, you're not in a room. You're not having to look at and engage with this person. You're reading text. It lends itself really well to uh, aggressive argument, uh, which doesn't lend itself well to people being changing, or even me changing. I mean, I get emotional about that stuff sometimes, and I, I, I try to to squelch it as much as possible, but it, it's difficult, as, as I'm sure any of you know. Um, so that that kind of aggressive tendency that Facebook leads to kind of, you know, puts me away from that. Uh, I, I mean, I still interact with it, but I didn't want to kind of, you know, uh, just pour out my, my, my ramblings onto it because uh, I don't think it's conducive, and it also doesn't lend itself well to... to archiving and, and, and long-term storage, just the, the, the news feed and the way it just kind of disappears into the nowhere beyond. Um, so that that's where I kind of led to YouTube. Um, so I, I'm going to, to start, you know, using this platform. And one of the first ideas I had was, why not start another show, another channel that's, you know, about this. Uh, but the problem that I've seen in the past with doing that is when you start a channel um, you usually tie yourself to something about that channel a good example when I did talk Liberty 1776 it was about politics and liberty oriented politics now those are usually the politics that I tend toward I, I, I you know find myself very much a a pendulette libertarian um, but it, it does confine you in this box where you you almost are expected not to talk about other options um, for the show. And, and also, being a show, it, it lends itself to this, this pressure to reach people because the main purpose tends to be not what I'm doing here, not a not a vlog or a journal, but more you're producing a message, you're researching things, and then you're taking that research and you're putting it into a, a content and you're taking that content and you're delivering it out. Um, so if, if you're putting all this, this incredible work into your content, there's quickly this pressure to, to then uh, sell that content. Uh, and by sell, I don't mean have someone pay for it, but to get someone to buy into that content. And, and that's not what I wanted here either. So uh, I just said, why not just take my existing YouTube channel, my actual YouTube account, my, me, and, and start doing stuff with that. Uh, so that, that's, that's where I came to. Um, and, and I, I want to start, uh, putting stuff out there you know I was I'll give you an example I was I was researching the other day I call it research but it, it's more for my own personal enjoyment um, the uh, realism versus anti-realism arguments of mathematics and and I really you know came to this epiphany about something that I never had a hard stance on before that I'm, I'm really an anti-realist when it comes to that stuff and and I wanted to talk to somebody, you know, and I called my wife and, and I talked to her. And then that was great, but even she has her own set of things that she's interested in. And sometimes that leads me to just rambling to a person who, who isn't interested. So I, I still want to ramble, but I want to do it in a format where people can, can come and go and... and you know, eat the meat and spit out the bones, uh, as it were, for the stuff that they really care about. Um, so, I, I want to start kind of releasing that here. Uh, what I don't want to do at this point, you know, this this you know is all subject to change as I 
as I grow and evolve as a, as a person is make this a strict format where I have to release every week or every month. Uh, I don't want to um, make this a, a theme-based thing like I talked about earlier. I just want it to be my life, me, my thoughts, uh, kind of collected and, and put into a, into a centralized location. So I, I've been thinking about this for a couple of days now, and I wanted to just get the first video out there, announce it, let people know. So when they run across these videos and they say, "What the heck is this?" they can they can uh, come back and, and see kind of what the purpose was and what's going on here. And uh, you know, hopefully we all learn something. Hopefully we all grow. Hopefully people have thoughts on what I have to say and and can change me, and and maybe I can change them, and we can. Uh, come to some some better place all the way around so anyway that that was my my first video I wanted to put out uh, get over that first hurdle of releasing something and so hopefully you guys will be hearing from me soon I'm not gonna put a win on that um, subscribe if you want to see it um, and it'll come up in your news feed but I'm gonna start doing this thing and we'll make it a journey together and if it doesn't work out I'll stop it and if it if it does I'll keep going so we'll see you later guys thanks